Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Having a little coffee this morning. And I wanted to uh, mention something that comes up from time to time. And uh, it's something I probably mentioned before. And uh, what that is, is that's being able to be diplomatic in uh, in a bad situation, in SHTF, um, as it were. You can see it everywhere on social media you know you you can see any topic basically and there's going to be two ends of the spectrum on that and there's going to be people fighting people are fighting over this they're arguing over that that's not going to go away when shtf happens but it's not going to be on a computer screen it's probably going to be face to face so you know what do you do how do you handle that because there's a good chance after shtf you're going to have to deal with people you don't like. You're probably going to have to deal with people you absolutely hate. That's also a possibility. You know, you're not going to be just limited to whatever, your group, your neighbors. The chances are something will happen, something will take place where you're going to have to interact with other people, groups of people. And uh, the gung-ho sort of... Uh, type A way of dealing things sometimes isn't the best way of dealing about things. I'll, I'll give you an example. You know, we've all seen it. Somebody yelling at a cashier in a store, yelling at the service uh, counter at a store to get, get what they want. How do you think, you think that's going to happen after SHTF? Do you think being able to holler and scream and, you know, puff your chest out, that's going to get your way? Probably not. In fact, it's probably going to be just the opposite. You're going to get not what you want and maybe then some on top of it. So um, this whole idea of being diplomatic in SHTF, you know, our, what you might personally feel about things, somehow, some way, you have to deal with that. You might have to, you know, put those feelings in a box and put them somewhere until you get whatever your job is done, whatever that may be. And that goes a little bit even today. Everybody has to work occasionally with people that they don't like or things that they don't like. So, you know, you put your, uh, put your feelings in a box and you just do what needs to be done. And uh, because you might find yourself in a situation where there's something that you need and you have to interact with somebody that you don't like to get that thing that you need or you uh, you might be in a bad situation and you somehow have to talk your way out of that situation or you know use diplomacy in one way shape or form to get out of that situation to uh you know basically to safety or whatever so you need to think on your feet to a certain extent of how you're going to deal you know, how you're going to deal with those type of situations. The um, And the best word I can come up with is, you know, being diplomatic about things. I've had different stories, different family stories and stuff where there were different uh, family members or um, friends that were in kind of these sticky situations. And uh, being diplomatic and uh, being cool and level-headed usually got those people out of those situations without any further complications, let's say. So um, being able to think and talk on your feet um, is definitely a skill for SHTF. And uh, sometimes you got to put your own personal feelings and you got to put your things that you believe in on the back burner to get out of those situations. And uh, same goes for you know, recognizing situations so you don't have to get into bad situations in the first place. And that basically comes from um, observation. But anyway, these are uh, just some things that I was uh, thinking about. They keep coming up from time to time. So I wanted to uh, mention, you know, sort of some uh, strategies and some things to think about, about being diplomatic in SHTF. Anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys get a little information, a little entertainment out of my videos. Um, something to think about, just uh, something for people to contemplate here in this video, how you would handle those uh, situations um, now when uh, there's still relatively, you know, there's relative safety um, to go about doing that. But anyway, you guys take care.